If you're looking for a good solar power charging bank that is very versatile and rugged and waterproof and has many functions on it, I think this is the one for you. It's called Blavar. And you get it on Amazon from anywhere from 40 to 50 bucks, depending on when you see this. And I think of right now they have actually a coupon for 15% off if you click it. But again, it depends on when you see this video. Now, I got orange, and one reason I got orange is because when I'm camping out at night, I don't really have very good vision, so I need something that I could see. So I got orange. However, you can get hunter green, red, and black as well. I also wanted something that was waterproof because I do. Uh, take these out on a boat a couple of times and I did this summer and so it's obvious reasons why you would need one of these to be waterproof on a boat but also when you're camping out and you might actually have rain coming in on you real quickly or you drop water or whatever you want something that's protected from the water so that's one reason I got this now another reason I got the Blavar and this one is by the way this one's model PNW12 but the one reason is because of the reviews on Amazon it has an average of 4.5 stars out of 5 but it also has 5,000 reviews and so that's very important Blavar has been in business for over 10 years and there's a lot of fly-by-night companies that will come into Amazon and they'll have only 10 reviews they're all positive but it's usually because it's the owners leaving the reviews and so it really doesn't test the, stand the test of time when you only have 10 reviews well, Blavar has over 5,000, so you know a lot of people reviewed it, and a lot of people have liked it and said, hey, this is definitely a go-to. Now, when I went camping, I used my, my uh, Blavar for a few reasons. Number one, of course, is to charge my phone, and I use a Samsung Galaxy, and of course, the only thing you have to do is just plug it up into the solar bank here, like this. But I also use it on this using the C port on the Blavar. I actually used it for my my uh, computer here, my Dell computer. Now, so yes, you can charge laptops with with the solar power bank. It just has to be it has to be adaptable to the C the, the USB C. But you can get an inverter. It doesn't matter what kind of laptop you have. You can get an inverter that will actually USB use USB C for the device. So I use it to charge up my laptop, my phone, but also other little small devices. It doesn't matter if you have like a little small coffee maker, if you have like a razor that you use USB on. This is actually a hand warmer, like so at night times when it get cold, I could use this to warm my hands. Well, of course, you can use this to charge it. It has a total of four different charging points here. As you can see, it's got two USB ports there. It's got the USB-C and another little charging port. It has a little compass on it, as you can see. And it actually has a flashlight. Now this is very important, of course, when you are camping, that you have a, a good flashlight, in case your cell phone's not available. If you hold this down, it'll start, the, um, the flashlight will come on. If you hold it, press it down again, it'll actually have a warning light. And if you press it down again, it'll have like a, a flash like danger light and of course to turn it off you just hold this down and to charge your phone it's pretty quick it actually uses 18 watts to charge your phone directly and then 10 watts if you're charging it wirelessly and so that's pretty quick as well so it char it took like about a good 30 40 minutes to charge my phone up to about 50% starting with zero power. So give yourself a good hour to hour 10 or 20 minutes to charge up completely from zero. The good thing about it is it'll charge more than one device at a time. So I did charge my laptop up and my phone at the same time, but you can actually charge up to four devices at the same time. Now you ask, well, how do you charge the bank? Well, two ways. You could hook up the bank directly to a laptop or computer or to your cigarette lighter in your car hook it up that way and of course the solar power is the sun so you basically sit this out in the sun the better the sun the you know the more direct the sunlight is the more powerful it is of course the quicker this is going to charge up it'll give you like a little indicator to show you how full it is so as you can see there mine's pretty full and it gets it as it gets down closer to the green that means it needs to be charged again but it charged up pretty quick and I live in Florida so 
you know, doesn't take that long to charge. But of course, it like again, it depends where you're at. So, like I said, I, I'm very, very happy with it over the summer. I think this is a go-to. I would recommend getting you two or three of these. And I'll tell you why. Have one, have one in your car. Have one with your in your camping supplies and your gear. But actually, have one in your home because in at I live in Florida, so there's hurricanes all the time. Sometimes power will be out for a day to four to five days. And so it's good to have something like this to have on hand in case you don't have electricity or power. You need to charge your little devices, your phone. Like I said, you can use your laptop. You could teether and use your hotspot on your phone in order to get internet service. So that's, that's pretty convenient. And to have one of these on hand is very smart. Uh, you could actually take it to your car if you still have gas in your car and use the cigarette lighter to charge it up and then take it back into your home. The battery in here is pretty strong. It's 20,000 milliamp hour battery. So it does definitely have a good long lifespan on it and you should be able to get years of good use for it. I would say the only drawback, it is lightweight, but it is a pound and a quarter. So if you're hiking, you know, that could actually add up over a long distance. But what do you expect for a power bank? You know, you're getting a lot of bang for the weight. And this light will stay on so you have to actually put it down in order to turn the light off. I actually made like a little makeshift thing that I'll actually tape on here. That way, you know, if I'm camping out at night or whatever and I don't want to use it, and this doesn't turn off immediately, then I'll just put that on there to cover it up. Because once this is lifted, it's looking for, basically, it's looking for the sun in order to start charging it. But using this over the summer, I was very impressed of the durability of it and the long life of the battery, I say it's definitely a go out and get it. Make sure you subscribe.